Hey guys, welcome to the video. So today we're gonna go through all of the makeup drawers and see what I have inside. And let's go ahead and start off with the drawers all the way to the left-hand side of the vanity. So we're gonna start off with the top one over here. Let me just check the video. Yep, looks good. All right, here we go. So no rhyme or reason, I'm just gonna start pulling out the foundations. And obviously I have a lot of the Milani 2-in-1, the uh, perfect foundation. Oh, look, I have two of the three, so it's just pretty cool. So I have two, I have one, five, and two of the number threes. And we also have Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer. This is really good also. And then let's see what else we have in here. We have the balm the balm foundation in this, these are different colors yeah they have to be um this one is not even open oh, they are, yeah they are different colors for when i i just tried Oh yeah, this is um, it's pretty thick. I gotta give that one a try. I've never tried it, so I'm gonna give that a try and see how that goes. Uh, clearly, I have three of them in here, so I'm gonna give that a try. Uh, I also have some cargo on here in here that uh, the perfect. Picture foundation. I got this from, where did I get this from? I got it from, I think I have two more of these in my travel kit. Yeah, uh, I got this from, what is that place called? Kohl's. I got it from Kohl's. So, yeah, I apparently I have different colors. I have two more in my travel kit. All right, what is this? Trish McAvoy. This is the Even Skin Water Foundation. I think this is like the revamped version. I had an Even Skin. It was like in a black um, plastic um, bottle. And it was out of this world. I mean, it was the most natural coverage, light coverage that you could ever find in a foundation. That is really weird. Okay, anyways, moving on. So apparently this is medium to full coverage. Okay. Oh, and it's matte. Oh, I don't like matte. Okay, anyways. Uh, another cargo foundation. This is water resistant, I believe. Longwear foundation. Yeah, this is actually not bad. Uh, then I have... What do I have? What do you this, guys? I have some LA Girl. Look, never even open. Uh, I have some pigments in here. So fun fact, guys, I used to work at a salon when I was 22 and it was called, uh, Mari Chikochi, uh, Salon and Day Spa. We have them here in Illinois and we were trained makeup artists to custom make our own foundations and our own lipsticks and also custom make people's loose setting powder so anytime someone got a little bit darker they would return their foundation and we would adjust it with pigment so i'm more than familiar with this whole um pigment and toner matching and stuff like that uh there was actually one more that we have and i believe it was lilac so uh, I always have these in my makeup kit also. These are just backups. I have them here to play around with, but I obviously I haven't because they haven't been opened except for this one. And then what do I have here? I have this I bought. This is Hard Candies um, Just Face It. And it is really good foundation for every day, like very light, you know, when you don't want to use your expensive foundation. So what I do is I mix it with a little bit of oil because it is really, really, it's, it says featherweight formula. It is really, really good coverage and you can take it underneath the eyes if you have dark circles. But this is, I think only seven bucks if I'm not mistaken. I have a double duty Ulta 
primer and foundation in natural beige. This is oil-free, fragrance-free. This is not bad. It's really, really thick coverage. But again, I don't like matte or thick coverage, so I always share this down with some sort of vitamin E oil. So whatever oil that you want to share it down. I have up here. This is also from... This is also from Kohl's that I got it from. Just try it on. It's not a bad color. It's very lightweight. It's very watery. And again, I don't mind a sheer coverage. Um, I, I prefer that. What else do I have in here? I have Lush Dark Yellow. This one. This is not bad. It's pretty thick. It's pretty it's pretty high coverage, but um again, I don't like that look. I like to go for a more dewy finish. All right, let's see what else we have here. We have Lorac uh Porefection Foundation. This is oil-free, paraben-free, and fragrance-free. Um this is not used. Oh, look. I have another one actually. Okay, so clearly I like this foundation. All right, so two of these, not bad. And then more cargo. I used this a long time ago. I think they discontinued this, but this is really, really awesome foundation. It's oil-free. It's a very lightweight tinted moisturizer. I love this one. This was one of my favorite ones, and they don't make it anymore, I don't think. I need more room for the foundations. Um, e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer, oil-free. This is great for not just, I think it's just made for under eye, if I'm not mistaken. But honestly, again, you sheer it out and it makes the most beautiful, lightweight coverage. Very, very natural looking. And then I have some Wet n' Wild. This is the dewy one. This is the new dewy one. I haven't even tried it yet. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, I have three of those, obviously, obviously all different colors. And then I have the NYX tinted uh, foundation also, two different colors. This one I have a little left in, so. This LA Girl Pro BB Cream, never used it, clearly brand new. So I gotta give this a try also. Oh. Oh, two of them, actually. Wait, let me see the colors on this. Yeah, two different colors. Okay, cool. All right. So I, I like to get foundations that are uh, one light and then one dark just to kind of, you know, make sure I have um, the right coverage. And then Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free. What color is this? I love Laura Mercier. Mm, it's a little it's a little flat for me i'm going to show you my favorite foundation in this drawer i'll show you all my foundations but my favorite one is the shantakai one it is uh the future future skin it's oil free and honestly look at that that is just beautiful it's great coverage you could definitely build it you could definitely share it out i think it's like 72 dollars or $78, but well worth it. A little goes a long way. You could just start off by taking from the from the cap. And, you know, again, you always want to use something that's non-expensive for, like, you know, every day. And then just kind of, you know, save the good stuff for the good occasions. More e.l.f. This one... This is, I think, from their, I think it's a water, water line or something like that, or water first. I don't know. But this is, this is a really good tinted one, too. What do I have back here? More back here. NARS. This is um, light foundation. This is just kind of lighten up the darker foundations that I have. They're really good, though. Let me see. Oopsie. I forgot. One more. Which one is this? This is the photo focus. This is the photo focus. The, this is the, the not dewy one. This is like the regular one, the first one they came out with. And then one more NARS. This is the NARS uh, Sheer Glow. 
really, really good. I used to work for NARS. I absolutely love their foundations. I used to work for Laura Mercy. I used to love all of her foundations. Her sticks, I don't even think they make these anymore. But Laura Mercy, I have to look that up. I really wonder if they still make the foundation sticks. Let me get a good area that I didn't. Man, like for a foundation stick, that's awesome. I just, she's just the best at foundation. Really, really is. And then I have, what is this? Elf Moisturizing Stick. Uh, yeah, these are obviously in different color. Uh, let me see my picture of this in it. Not bad, uh, not my color, but I'm sure one of these is. Yeah, I'm sure one of these is my color. And I have, I my favorite is stick foundations. I love stick foundations. And I have five of these foundations that are all obviously different colors. Oops. Let me check this out. So let's do it above my oh yeah. Not bad. We could uh definitely use some tips and tricks to kind of make that less chalky. All right. All right, so I think yep, yeah, that's it. That's all for this drawer. So I'm gonna put everything back and we're gonna start on the second drawer. But that is all the foundation that I have for the top drawer. All right, guys, here we go. So it's time for drawer number two. So let's open it up and get going. So let's start off on this side. Let me show you what this is. So this is uh, Trish McAvoy's. Um, it's a magnet. I got it like a long time ago. And you just pop. This is... You know what these are? These are Laura Mercier's Secret Camouflage um, Concealers. They're amazing. So that's what I have in this Trish Compact. Speaking of Laura Mercier, these are more Secret Camouflage in a lot of different colors. Yeah, this is the Matte Translucent Powder. And what do I have over here? This is the Smooth Finish Foundation Powder. And I obviously have it in different colors. See that? And it comes with a sponge. So I believe, yeah, you can use this wet or dry if I'm not mistaken. So I have, there are those. If I'm not mistaken, I think I have more in the sphere drawer. I think I do. Yep. Um, and I don't know what that is. Okay. So Laura Mercier setting powder. That's a number two. It's a secret brightener. Uh, by the way, so when I used to work for Laura Mercier, I think I was like 24. So wait, how old am I now? 40. So this is many years ago. I used to sell this, the loose setting powder that you see all over YouTube as well as this. And the um, the puff, the Vlor puff, like crazy. Uh, and obviously now it's it's all over YouTube. And th this incredible that and the other the big tub of the translucent wet and wild water drop primer. I heard a lot about this. It's brand new. I've never even tried it before. See, never even tried it before. So I just end up buying and I just put it in my drawer. This is uh, this is NARS and I actually got it because of the color. I like it for contour. So this is, I think that is the uh, concealer also. And then I have a whole bunch of the LA Pro Girl concealer. Whole, all the shades in the world. Look at this, brand new, never even opened. I uh, know I'm not going to use these all. I'm not a concealer person. I mainly have them for my travel kit as well as the the pigments. Yeah. I usually, what I do personally, 
is I'll take my tinted moisturizer or my foundation and I'll take it underneath the eye for coverage because I don't have dark circles. So yeah, I have a whole bunch of those. Those are all brand new. I have the NYX. I've never even tried it. What is this? NYX Scotch Covered. You can tell that's new. I've never even tried it before. All right, put that away. I have NARS. What color is this? Honey. That's a great one, by the way. Um, this one I heard a lot about on YouTube, Wet n Wild. Um, this is a corrector. I have to try all this. I have to try all of this makeup. I've never even tried it before. So apparently I have three of them. Yeah, three different, please tell me they're different colors. Where the hell is the color at? Anyways, I have three of them. And then I also have, oh gosh, I wonder if Laura even makes this anymore. So this is the Flawless Fix Pencil. Check this out, guys. So here, look at how cool this is. So this is in beige, right? So you just spot any kind of uh, pimple that you have on the go, right? Now, let's say that you need to uh, sharpen it, right? You just pull this cap off and it becomes a sharpener. So I really wonder if they still make this, but this clip, this is like brand new. I've never even used it. Uh, oh, well, I have two of them. And... Which one is this one? This is another concealer. This is another dark color from NARS. And again, I use that for, I use that for contour and this is for coverage. So like I said, I used to work for NARS and I absolutely love their concealers. And then this is old school Milani, so awesome. Uh, this is like the contour and highlight. And then this is what I use. I have so many of these in my travel kit for when I do makeup. Because it's like not a brown brown. It's got a little gray in there. So it's really, really awesome for, for contouring and highlight. All right, moving on. All right, uh, what do we got? Laura... Mercier concealers also, different colors. And then I have a wet and, is this, no, this is NYX. Wait, what is this? Yeah, this is concealer also. And then we have more concealers here. This is all Wonder Cover Concealer. This is um, Skin Perfection Coverage. This. I remember, uh, oh, here, this Caro Mask one. Oh, dear God. This tube can last you up to two years. Like, that's how little you use of this. And it covers, like, any kind of tattoo or anything that you need to really conceal. So I have a few of those. Of the Caro Mask ones, and there's more Pro Concealer. Wait a minute, what's this? Another Laura Mercier, trans, uh, not a translucent setting. So that's more Caro Mask, and then this is different colors of the Wonder Cover concealer. I have a lot. This is the Everything Pencil Face and Body Concealer. This is a little too light. You can make it work. And what is this for? Poreless Alpha Face Primer. All right, and this is like a travel size of Laura Mercier Eye Base in Wheat. I love that, that's my favorite one. And this is just some Lash glue, the clear one, my favorite. All right, what's over here? We have Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. We have Milani Prime Perfection, never used. NYX Angel Veil, never used. 
Kose. This is a brand from Merch Kochi that's a primer also. Never used. And then e.l.f. Daily Moisturizing Stick. I buy all these to try them out. Never have time to make a video. This is the Daily Mo Moisture Stick. And you see how it's like a, a gel? Uh, let me see how this... Does it shine at all? Doesn't even shine. Hmm. Does it cool? Does it does it do anything? That's all right. It's okay. All right. Well, I have that. And then there's more. There's another one of those highlight. And um, oh. So here's the other um, everything pencil. So I have one for light and one for a little bit uh, yellow undertone. And then these are just samples of the Laura Mercier primers. I have one more. What's this? Laura. And then another Laura Mercier primer. This is Hard Candy Camouflage Light, never used. And Tinted Moisturizer, never used. Oh, I have three of those. Those um, pencils that I was talking about. All different colors. What's in between here? Another the one, the Pro Concealer. And then my Velour Puff that needs to be washed. All right whole lot of whole lot of all right so i'm going to put that back and then we're going to start off on drawer number three all right guys so it's time for drawer number three so let's open that one up and this is a whole lot of is this blush and highlight no i think it's just blushes yep it is it's just blushes all right let's get into it can you see everything hold on can you yes or no i think so all right, there we go. That's better. All right, so I have four compacts. Are these all e.l.f.? Yes, they are. Let's open it up. This is like a big surprise to me um, because I'm like figuring out what I have. Contour palette, bronzing palette. Um, what is this? Blush palette. And another blush pa palette that's lighter. Okay, cool. All right. And then we have, let's see what's all this. Wet and Wild blushes also, two different colors. What's this? Wet and Wild bronzer, two different colors. So, is this more of that Laura Mercier? Smooth finish, yeah, it is. I have more of that Laura Mercier. This should go in, is it this drawer or this drawer? It's this drawer. It's gotta go back in there. Okay, uh, what else do I have? I have the pressed powder, Wet and Wild. I think this is Trish. Yeah, this is Trish um, pressed powder. Wet and Wild Photo Focus. Very curious. Nope. Never even opened. Good to know. Two of the Wet and Wild Photo Focus powders. Some e.l.f. Never touched. This is the translucent, is it? Yeah. Never even. Look at that. Not never touched. Okay. Good to know. And what are these? Oh, this is uh, this is supposed to be like um, uh, in comparison to that. Uh, good lord, that Chanel, the 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 Chanel bronzer. That's um, that's like a cream. So yeah, I've never even look. It's just been played with. It's never been used. Um, and here's another one too. Wait, is it the same one? Yeah, it is. Cause you feel it's like wet. 
All right, this definitely needs to get tried out. These are old. Um, these are old, like loose powders that were made at like the salon that I used to work at. But I think I'm gonna add that to my theatrical makeup kit. I have a few of those. I have some Lorac, I love Lorac. This is beautiful. It was one of my favorite ones that I used to use. Uh, it is the hot and spicy. And then this is some loose powder. I put it in this cute jar. It's a setting powder and uh, it's very thin. It's very fine milled. Um, it's a no name cosmetic, but I still have a whole bunch of it that I absolutely love to finish up. And then Laura Mercier Sun Dust. This has got shimmer in it. I don't even know if they make this anymore. Oh shoot, I closed it wrong. It's got a little sheen to it if you could see it's really really awesome and then another sheen this is a stardust one it's kind of like the sister of that one lighter version and an ivory one loose powder what's back here this is old school laura mercier so i kept it because this is um i think it was her very first uh the very first containers that she came out with i mean this is like i kept it for the vintage vintage purpose of it you know because i love the way the laura mercy is on here so it's pretty dark anyways all right so then i have some cargo yeah i have some cargo these are the bronzers no these are the um blushers let me see this one too. Awesome. This one was my favorite. This is a beautiful peachy color. It's got a lot of shimmer to it. So I have two of those. What is this? Laura Mercier. This is Laura Mercier Matte Radiance. And this is Wet n Wild. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. And then where's the other cargo one? Hold on. Look how similar these are. Oh my goodness. Hmm. That is it's pretty interesting. Alright, what else do we have? Some LA Girl. I I love these kind of colors though. Like these are the colors that I tend to go for all the time. This is like a no name brand another Lorac. Let's see the difference between these two. Look at that. So pretty. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Okay. So two of those. We have the Butter Blush. The fit, um, What is this? Who is this? Physician's Formula. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't worn this. This is, used to be one of my favorites. So pretty, yeah, I gotta keep that out. I've gotta put it in my daily drawer. Love that one. Um, these are Hard Candy. It's it's made like, um, what what's that brand again? What is that other brand again? That they had the Hula Bronzer? I forgot. Anyways, there's that. And then a NYX, I've never even opened up before. Good to know. Banana, the, the Ben Nye banana powder. And then we have Cody Airspun. And then we have more back here. Let's see. These are all stuck. This is e.l.f. Obviously, it's nothing I've ever... Uh, yeah, this is a setting powder. Never used. Never used, never opened. Let's see, we have more of this. This is, what color is this? This says correct yellow, corrective yellow. Okay. This, and then another one. This is soft luminous. Does it get a shimmer to it? 
I guess so. I think it does. Okay. All right. Good to know. Those are brand new. Never been touched. And then NARS. This is a loose setting powder. This is one of my favorite ones. This is very equivalent to this no name brand that I have. Um, that is an awesome translucent powder. So let me see this one. Oh, this. This is the vintage Laura Mercier um, container that I saved. Look at this. This is like old school Laura Mercier. This is how it was before. Let me see what I have in here. Do I have her old powder? Yeah, I think this is her old powder. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. That is so cool. All right, let's move on. And then I have LA Girl Pro Face. This is the high definition matte. I'm, I'm, this has never been used and I know I'm never gonna use it. I'm not a powder kind of person. Just like to set my nose or something. Uh, Fast and Fabulous Hard Candy Translucent. Mm, oh, it has been opened. Okay, ooh, wow. This is, this is nothing. Ooh-wee. All right, so that's it for drawer number three. I'm gonna put this all back. Let's see, let me give you a shot of what I have on the counter. That is a shot of what I had in drawer number three. All right, guys, let's get to it. Let's do drawer number four. So, drawer number four has, oh, it's a mix of everything. Okay, so we have lipstick. We have, all right, let me just pull this out. This is uh, a blot. Jennifer Lopez. Um, I don't like this. I know I got another one. I think this is the nude one. Yeah, this is like a nude color. I really don't like. I, I don't. I didn't like the. The color was fine. I just didn't like the way it stayed. It's just too watery for me. It's. It has no. No stick to it. So. Whatever. Anyways, uh, let's see what else we have in here. We have some Laura Mercier. We have some Nuba. Some Wet and Wild Bombs. I forgot about them. So pretty. Um, what else? Some Elf. Some Laura Mercier. Some Zuzu. Some Nyx. We have back here, and we have some NARS lip glosses. I really need to go through all these and see what I want and what I don't want. To be honest with you, that's going to be another day. Uh, some Laura Mercier. Oh, I love that. That's a beautiful color. Um, more Laura Mercier, some NYX, this one is open, this is not Morocco, I like this one because it's an, like an orange red, I like that one, clearly I do, I got two of those, there's more back here, I think I do, oh, this is all my NARS, these are all of my NARS, Lipsticks. This is a whole bunch of NARS. If you guys ever want to see like just a NARS or just a Milani or just a NYX, let me know. I'll do that. That's some more. Let's put this up here. And we have more stuff over here. This is all Milani stuff. Oh my God, this has never been opened. That is something else. What about this? Nope. None of these have been opened. Hold on. Oh, no. I was wrong. Hmm. What else do I have? Uh, more NYX that hasn't been opened. This is Transylvania. 
I must have gotten that because that's where my husband is from. So, anyways, I got some other NYX in here. These sparklies. Look, this is brand new, never been touched. Oh, that's, oh gosh, that is cream. Slides on so nice. Good lord. Ooh, wee. This looks like a bad color. Now that is my kind of color. All right, so that is basically it for, what's this? Oh, it's old. All right, that's basically it for drawer number four. Let's move on to the other ones. All right, guys, we are on to drawer number five. So I'm going to zoom in, make sure everyone can see good. All right. Uh, let's see what I have in this drawer. All right, so pencils. Right. Whole bunch of different pencils. We have some Milani, LA Girl, Wet n Wild. We have some, what is this? Pure matte lipstick. That's NARS. Okay. We have some NYX, Wet n Wild. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We have this, this is new. It's like a, um, like a pimple popper blackhead remover. Brand new. And then, oopsie, I accidentally moved you. Right, and then we have some glosses, some lip plumper, some Morphe, some more Nick, some LA Girl, some Elf, some Lauren Mercy still, some Ulta Beauty. This is really nice, actually. What's in here? More Milani. Okay. And then we have a whole bunch of NARS. Um, what are these called again? These are called the Matte Multiple. Is that what it's called? Oh, my Lord. This is a nice one. Oh, yeah. That's a nice color. Let me see. Uh, this is Armu. Look at this brand new, never touched. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. So these are, I think these are like the three in one. This is the orgasm. Isn't that beautiful. If you want a separate video just on the NARS, let me know. I could do that one too. This here, this used to be, Sephora makes a foundation and um, I think it's oil free or something like that. I'm not certain anymore if it's cruelty free. Uh, that's why I stopped using it. So what I did was I opened up the glass that was outside of this and this was inside of it and I use it when I travel because it's plastic and if I lose it I lose it but you know you could basically just pour your foundation in here and you know just travel with it and it just you know you pump it out and you know I just thought this was really you know neat to travel with it, so I saved that one open up here. oh this is uh, just glass bottles for fragrances or yeah rolling fragrances okay cool cool you know i had it all right let's move on here we go drawer number six oh this bottom one is stuck there we go oh so drawer number six looks like it's all just back stock. Yeah, it is. It's all back stock. So a lot of, see, there's more Laura Mercier powders. So everything that you see here is back stock for my travel kit for when I do makeup for weddings and stuff. 
Um, here, let's see what's over here first. So I have some Laura Mercier uh, Smooth Finish Foundation. I have some NARS bronzer. I have some, oh, this is from, this is brand new too. This is from Sally's Beauty Supply. Uh, and this, I, I go through a lot because the bronzer and the blush are phenomenal. It's, it's what I call like a universal. All right, I have some eyelashes back here. Oh, I have some more pencils. Oh my goodness, this is going to be something to know. I have some Laura Mercy Hydrating Primer. Let me get all this out. I have some more of that foundation from Hard Candy. I have no choice but to get some tape, some glue to glue down some eyebrows to kind of like reshape. More tinted moisturizers, eyelashes. This is one of my favorites. Retainer. Some, what is this? I think this is glitter glue. Uh, then I also have some cargo bronzing powder. These are awesome. I have it in medium, dark, and I'm assuming light. All right. And. This is another one of Laura Mercier's um, old classic, obviously compact. I saved it, I like it. Let me get this out. There's more stuff back here. Oh, that's it, okay. Loose setting powder. This is from Mario Tricocci. This is their like translucent setting powder. What do I have here? Some Laura Mercier eyeliner. Uh, and I have, oh my goodness, look at this. And I have another one of NARS Backup. Another NARS Backup South Beach. And this is Cargo the Stick. It's like um, it's like Illuminating Stick by Cargo. I have some more Laura Mercier um, cake liners. Okay, good to know. All right, and I have some Backup Eyeliners. Oh, this is, oh, I love this one. This is the LA Girl uh, Brow Pencil. That's awesome. The Jordana Eyeliner, Jet Black, Fabuliner, Liner, I, Liquid Liner. I love this. So that's what I have over here. And then over here, my lashes. And then I have the, this is my favorite lip gloss of all time. They don't make this anymore. This is the Brilliant Shine. This is the Bare Secret Gloss. It's it's phenomenal. Hold on. Let me swatch it. Let me show you. It's like the, the world's perfect nude. Isn't that beautiful? That is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite lip glosses. And you can tell I like it because uh, when I found it, I bought everything they had on the site. I have one, two, three, four. I have four of that nude color that I like so much. And then there's the luminous one that I love by them too. And then this is the nude touch. This is awesome also. And another nude touch. They don't make the Brilliant Shine anymore, which is a shame because it was such an amazing formula. What is as good as this um more moisturizing this is this is has a little bit more shine to it is the morphe lip gloss and i have this in shima and i also use it in uh frolic this is pretty good too this is the um la colors this is the la color one and i get this from the dollar store clearly i like the same color lip gloss all right that's it for drawer number six. Let's move on to drawer number seven. All right, we're on to drawer number seven. Uh, all right, let's do it. So this is one of my favorite brands for body cream. This is a cold cream. It's, um, I don't use it for my, my face though, cause I, I'll break out. What I do use it for is my arms and my legs. 
I love this one because it smells like Pond's cold cream. And I can't use Pond's because it's not cruelty free, but this is. And it smells just like it. And it's just, it gives you the most amazing shine on your skin. I have it in almond and I have it in the uh, this triple whip one. And then we have then we have this exotic blend for tanning. And I have some hard candy in here. This is the coconut. Oh, you know who recommended this? Uh, Emily Noel. That's who recommended this. I've never even tried it before, to be honest with you. It smells good. Never even tried it. Okay. All right. Put that off to the side. I have some disposable wands. That's very necessary. Some creme brulee flavor for like lipsticks and stuff. Um, just an empty container. Some blush. Mario Badescu. Yep. That's exactly what I have in here. Some Mario products. Some glycolic foaming. This is great. I keep this for like when I travel so that I don't have to look for containers. This is my favorite facial spray. Um, I usually refill the smaller one and I keep the bigger one in the drawer just in case it spills or something that I don't, I don't use, lose the whole thing. Uh, Nature's Gate Sunless Tanner. This is a spray. Uh, and then this is the miniature. This is what I travel with. I absolutely love it. And I have some. This is from Trader Joe's Vitamin E Oil. I absolutely love it. What do I have here? I have a lot. Yeah, I have four. I have four. That's how good it is. I use it for my face. It's great for any like fine lines. The rest is Trish McAvoy. Um, let me see. The rest is Trish McAvoy eye cream, some drunk elephant stuff. All right. And then I have some facial cream. This is personal care. This also smells like Pond's cold cream, and I use this on my hand. This is really from the dollar store. Um, and again, it, it just, I love the way it smells. It is not as hydrating as this brand though, but I just, I love the way it smells. So I have, how many? I have, yeah, I have three of them back here. Okay, cool. All right, moving on to the other side. Drawer number one to the drawers all the way to the right hand side. Let's open it up. All right, this looks like it's a whole bunch of highlighters, illuminating stuff, okay. So let's start off on this side. I have a whole bunch of Wet n Wild LA Girl highlighters. What is this one? More LA Girl Hydrate highlighters, okay. And then over here, I have some hard candy. Back here. Oh, hey, I didn't even know I had these. Awesome. I have a uh, NARS Illuminator. Two different ones. I have the, oh, this is pretty. That is very, very nice. Oh, my. Okay. It's a nice one. I have the Bahama Mama bronzer. Oh my goodness, I even forgot I had this. I'm gonna put this in my everyday drawer so I don't forget I have that. Some Le Mercier. We have some Cargo. Let's see this Cargo. It's pretty, it's pretty matte. I like that, okay. This is another cargo. It's a little bit darker with shimmer. The other one's more flat. What is this? Oh, this is darker, more bronzy. I do like that. Let me put it in my everyday drawer. Get it. I've forgotten about all the stuff that I had. I'm not going to lie to you. I just, some Milani, some LA Girl. Okay. Someone on YouTube said that, which one was it? 
is it the 80 watt or the 100 watt that is similar to uh, a highlighter that uh, Nikki Tutorials did? Someone like, which one was it? I'd have to check it out. Anyways, some more Milani, Laura Mercier, okay. And then over here, we have some hard candy, hard candy. Some matte bronzer. This is nice. Okay. What's this one? It's a duo chrome. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay. Not really me. Uh, some balm. This is beautiful. And what's this one? This has to be a duochrome. Yeah, it is. This is more golden. It's pretty. Um, that's nice too. Some brush. And then the Mary Luminizer Balm. Yeah, I forgot I had all this. Like, this is ridiculous. Some more hard candy. These are really cool. These are, I really like these. These are not bad at all some Laura Mercy here this is beautiful this is one of my favorites look at that oh my goodness okay and what else do I have some what else do I have here some hard candy okay all right Some hard candy. See this? It's okay. It's all right. Some blushes. Okay. Good to know. Some physician's formula. Ooh, butter bronzer. I forgot I had this. God, I love how it smells. It's going to go in my everyday drawer. And Laura Geller. Some Wet n Wild. My goodness, these are like some Wet n Wild. Awesome. Okay, let's move on to drawer number two. All right, drawer number two. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Have faith, have faith. All right, I take that back. Don't. Oh my lord, what in the world? Okay, so we have some glue here, duo glue, some eye base. Okay, we have a whole bunch of NARS um, eyeliners. Uh, we have some Inglot eyeliner, okay. Um, brow stuff by Elf. This is eye base from that salon I was talking about in Illinois. Okay. Um, some NYX. These are all eye bases. Yeah, this is all eye base uh, or glue. Or eyeliner, okay, got it. Uh, what do we have back here? I love these palettes for like traveling. They're magnetic. So you pop in like two of your eyeshadows or eyeliners and you don't have to, you know, take a big compact with you. I have two of them. I like them. And then some Milani back here. Some loose pigments, some more Mercier. Okay, cool. Some Lorac, some more Laura Mercier stuff, some glitter. I love this glitter from Sally's uh, Beauty Supply. It is really, really small and it just like, it has the most beautiful, beautiful color to it. All right, that drawer is basically done. All right, here we go, drawer number three. Oh, Lord. All right, 
So, what's in here is a whole bunch of the um, pencils. So I have colored pencils. I have the um, Jordana eyeliner in here, the waterproof. I have more NYX. So I bought this actually on, uh, I, I bought this on Amazon. And it, you, I also have one in my traveling kit. So it's just, everything's in one spot and you have plenty and of room. over here, more Laura Mercier. Some Laura Mercier color sticks. This is for eyes, so beautiful. Okay, cool. Back here, a whole bunch of mascaras. Okay, that's about it. Cool, move on to the next drawer. Drawer number four, eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so this is not eyeshadow. I know this for a fact. This is a whole bunch of NARS blushes that I emptied out this uh, palette that I got. I think it was like 10 bucks and a whole bunch, it had a whole bunch of like cheap blushes in there. So I emptied it all out, put a magnet strip in here, and then I just put all my NARS blushes and bronzers in here. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then what else? I have some Lorac, Lorac, Lorac. And then here, these are more NARS eyeshadows that I have in the Bangdip palette. This is Coastal Scents. Open this all up. Oh Lord, God, I can't even open it. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's a no-go. Maybe this one will be easy to open. Yep, cool. How pretty that is. So pretty. Uh, another, this is just, yeah, this is all magnet. Just some loose shadows in here. Another coastal scent. Let me see. Yay, I could open it. We got all brand new. Uh, more of these palettes. I get these on Amazon. These are, and I just add, oh shoot, that's all broken. Okay, that's all right. Well, that needs cleaning. Okay. And then more coastal scent. Okay. Cute. So cute. All right. Check this out. Before I get back there, they don't make these anymore. Look how cool this is. I bought this many, many years ago. These containers from Amazon. And you just roll them over. You just stack them like this. You could do three in a row. You could do two in a row. Check this out. Isn't that cool? You just swing them out like that. So you could do different color story and then just kind of, so it's easy to travel with. So you can pick your purples, your greens, your whatever you want. And that's just, they don't make them anymore and I'm bummed about it, but I'm just so happy that I had bought a whole bunch of them. All right, let's see back here. We have another palette that I filled with Laura Mercier stuff also. And another palette. Sounds like I filled this one too. Yep, this is all NARS. And that is broken, so I gotta make sure I redo that. Yep, beautiful. NARS has some of the best shadows. And then, what's in here? These are just those loose, these are no name eyeshadows also that are broken. I gotta fix that. And then back here, oh look, more of those. Eyeshadows, look at that. The drawer needs to be cleaned out. Melt Cosmetics. Melt Cosmetics. These are Melt Eyeshadows. I have three of them. Which one do I have? How many of these do I have? I'm so happy to have that. Okay. 
And I love this. I love that they're all magnet. Look at these beautiful colors, my goodness. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a separate video of just eyeshadows, just going over all the colors. Right now, what's in my drawer is just kind of like, hey, take a sneak peek, but I can't take too much time. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just create, I think I'm just going to do a video on just specific eyeshadows that I love and just kind of like really enjoy the drawer and play around with the colors. I think that'd be awesome. That way we won't have to be in a rush to see everything so quickly. All right, All right. we are on to drawer number five that has even more eyeshadows. So I have here, what is this one? This is the Beach Cosmetics. Oh, I like that it's clear. That's cool, that's the top. That's pretty cool. All right, more BH Cosmetics. Let's open this up. Is this one? How beautiful that is. It's so nice. Okay. All right, let's put that off to the side. And some more loose eyeshadows. Those are blushes. These are eyeshadows. I just, um, this is from the dollar store. I just put a, a magnet sticker on here and all these just kind of stick on here. All right. This, that, those shadows are like a no-name brand. I save this for traveling. That way, you know, it's just easy to pop stuff in and out. This is W7 eyeshadows. I think this is like the knockoff of, um, the, yeah, the knockoff of, uh, what's that eyeshadow pa palette again? Is it Too Faced? I think it is Too Faced, yeah. Um, and then these are Trish McAvoy's magnet palettes. These are for, for traveling. This is broken. This is for traveling. They go in like, um, a, a book that she has. This is some more... This is NARS, more NARS stuff. So NYX, what's this? Is this Coastal Sun or is it something different? No, it is, okay. If it's like not good, I'll just kind of like throw everything out and leave the uh, container so I could just put like magnets in there. This is Laura Mercier and just a specific palette I put together. These are body paint. They glow in the dark. Cool. This is hard candy. I think that was recommended by a YouTuber. And NYX foil. These are all new. These are all stuff I have to play with. I haven't played with at all. This is Wet n Wild. Some more Wet n Wild. These are all Wet n Wild. These are all Wet n Wild here that I have. And let me see, there's more in the bottom. Oh, I love this. These are broken. I'd love to open this for you. Manic Panic. The reason why I love these. Actually, I have another one. They're two different colors. I know you can't tell. If I open these all up, they're smashed on the inside. I love the cassette. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest thing? Can you tell there's, it's just all broken. They came broken, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I just, I kept them because I love the way they did that. I thought that was a really, really cute packaging. Um, and these are just magnets again for traveling that I saved. It's just NARS. Ooh, that's, that's cute actually. It's good to travel with. And then, and then the balm um, eyeshadow palette nude. I highly doubt I ever use this. I don't wear eyeshadow. I usually kind of save everything for my clients. Yeah, no, see? Never been touched. Never been touched. All right. All right, that's it for drawer number five. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put everything back 
and I am going to show you the rest of the drawers. All right, guys, and we are on to drawer number six. This is, again, the back stock drawer, so. All right, we have a whole bunch of eyebrow stencils in here. And these stencils come with, I think, how many? I think three. Yeah, they come with three stencils. And clearly, I have a lot of them. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. And then in here, I have a whole bunch of Wet n Wild brushes. A whole bunch of different brushes. They're all brand new. They're all back up for when I need them. Okay, cool. And a whole bunch of Real Technique sponges. And let me see what else. These are real technique also. Beauty Blender. I love this. This is awesome. Check this out. So it comes with a light. So you open this up. And it lights up. Isn't that cool? I love that. It's great for travel. Some nail filers. I have three of these tweezers from e.l.f. They're $1.00. They are amazing. Um, I just, I keep back stock of them. Some mirrors, uh, some disposable lip brushes, some disposable eyeliner brushes, some Cinema Secrets um, makeup remover. What else do I have here? Some glycerin soap for your eyebrows. And then I have some sponges over here from e.l.f., some e.l.f. blotting powders, two of those, Laura Mercier Velour Puffs, I have a few of those, and then these are, how many do I, do I have of these? I have two of these. These are the brush cleaner, like, they're good on the go, I guess. And then the uh, sponges for, like, facials and stuff. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. Let me put this back. Let's open up drawer number seven, which is our last drawer. Let's see what we got there. Okay. Just make sure we're in focus. All right. Oh boy. All right. All right. Here we go. Last drawer. So we have some color spray for my wigs and stuff if i want to change up the color i have a few of those so i i got these from goodwill they're like 50 cents i have three of them and this is relaxer for the hair and some more makeup remover this is just an empty bottle i like it for like fragrances or something or if like um if i want to do like a um my own facial spray, another empty bottle. I like to keep empty bottles, like again, for traveling. This is the cutest blow dryer for travel, isn't it? I, go, I just can't. And then these are also good for traveling. I said, save the boxes. So these are all empty. You know, if you wanna take like soap with you or something. These are all empty containers that I like to travel with also. Again, if you lose anything, you know, you're not you losing um, the entire thing, whatever you put in here. So you just kind of pour your translucent powders in here, whatnot, and travel. Look how cute this tape is. I can't. Look how small it is. I got it because it's small. I've never used it. All right. And then I have another one. This is empty, again, just for travel. This is my Lush. It's like a, um, it's like a body sheen. Look at that. Isn't that cute? 
what I do is I slice it up and I mix it in with my any kind of body cream to give myself the hydration and the sheen. So I have that. I have the Saint Tropez, more Saint Tropez self tanner. This is cool. These are rings that you put on. Like when you guys are, when you're doing like eyelashes, the glue goes here, eyelash extension. But I like it for like when I do makeup on clients also. So rather than just like putting the glue anywhere, you can put it in there. These are nose pinchers, don't ask. This is translucent setting powder. And that's basically it guys. That's basically, that wraps up what's in my drawer video. I hope you enjoy this one and stay tuned for um, what's in my fragrance drawer. Any kind of requests, let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to get on it. All right, guys, have a good one. See ya. Bye.